Hey guys, it's Awana Turtle, and today we're going to be wrapping up our Guilds of Ravnica box. We've got the last third, and so let's start getting into it. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous uh, parts of the uh, opening, definitely recommend go checking it out. This box has been really good. Of the top four cards, four most expensive cards in the set, we got three of them so far, and which is basically uh, paid for like over half of the box. All right, so we got Flower and Flourish, Whispering Snitch, Swath Cutter Giant, then Omni Spell Adept. Static Field, City Watch Sphinx, Crush Con Contraband, and then Runaway Steamkin. Not bad. Ooh, okay. Got a Foil Guild Gate. Not bad. Switch sign. Street Riot. Giant. Then the Midnight Reaper. I feel like we're cooling off a little bit. But we'll see if we can't finish off some good cards. Alright. Crawl Harpooner. Murmuring Mystic. Plague Crafter. Here we go. Chance for Glory, Mythic. Indestructible, take an extra turn. To be interested, you lose the game. Hmm. That's a high risk, high reward. Only for three, so you're there. It is instant, at least. All right, Crackling Drake, Minotaur, Inspiring Unicorn, and then the Fire Mines Research. Electrostatic Field. House Guild Mage, Selective Snare, and then the Deafen Deafening Clarion. Right, one Mythic so far, but not a great hit. <clears throat> we do have a Holo. Alright, Glaive of the Guild Pack. Beacon Bolt. Wand of Vertebrae. Then Guild Mages Forum. Any color, so in a multicolor, can you just plus one plus one counter on it? Okay. And then Price of Fame Foil. Shields, a board of elemental, bird for battle, then light of the legion. Ooh, wow, well, this is the uh, second foil erratic cyclops I have, uh, which is very ironic. But foil rare, never gonna complain about that. How many packs left? Night Veil Sprite, Mighty the Masses, Conclave Guild Mage, and then, yes, Divine Visitation. Uh, if you guys have been watching my videos, this is like the third Divine Visitation I have, uh, which is among the mythics, you know, one of the top ones, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, I think it's the third one. So, 
great pull right there. This box has been really good. Definitely paid my money back. Many, many of uh, like the top 10 cards. Our Insight, the Dev Champion, Inescapable Blaze, then Drown Secrets. To go for I think one more of the the shocklands to wrap up be really happy with that smelt ward minotaur the find broker grappling sundew and find in finality all right last pack Murmuring Mystic, the Guild Mage, City Watch Sphinx, and for the last rare, Vivid Revival. Okay, so to wrap up, let's see. Uh, I think the biggest hits were the Foil Erratic Cyclops, could have a Mythic Chance of Glory. And then another, I believe our third divine visitation. So overall, overall a great, um, great box. Uh, some of the cards we opened earlier, Assassin's Trophy, Steam Vents, Temple Garden, and then the Arc Light Phoenix, the most expensive card in the set. All right, thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you wanna support the channel, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned for more openings and I'll catch you guys next time, later.